go ahead and review an example of setting up dynamic content within a marketing cloud email where that dynamic content is based off of data that lives in Salesforce. And in this example, we'll use degree awarded year. So the first step is getting that audience ready, which will ultimately be a data extension, but it does start as a report. And these columns are here that need to be in order for my data extension to be created, including that contact ID and the email address that we're gonna target. And we've also gone ahead and included this alumni donor preferred name and last name in case we use those for personalization. But for dynamic content, we've gone ahead and pulled in this degree awarded year as well, where one of these contacts has 2004 and the other being 2015. So I'll go ahead and create this data extension within Marketing Cloud and be sure to include all of the columns. So within Interactions and Import, we'll go ahead and create this data extension. I realized moving through a bit quickly, um, I assume you're already familiar with creating data extensions, but if not, there is a full wiki on that. You'll just want to be sure when you're configuring your data extension and the field that you're using to drive that dynamic content, in this case, degree awarded year, be sure it's included. But otherwise, you'll set it up the same. Make sure your email is set to email address and your key is your contact ID. We can save that configuration. Go ahead and start that data extension that I just created to populate those two records that I saw in the report. Now I'm going to create the dynamic content within the email. So I'll go ahead and open up my email, but I've already uploaded one image for those who graduated in 2015 and those in 2004, which all will be my dynamic image. So opening up this email, we'll go ahead and edit the content. And rather than using the standard image for all recipients, this is where I'm going to want to go ahead and drag in this advanced content piece from the left-hand side, which is dynamic content. On the left-hand side, you'll have the opportunity to set rules and the content that will display based on those rules. So you can select a default image that will display if none of these rules are met. But I'm going to go ahead and create rule one. And the reason I wanted that data extension created already was so I can go to the second option data extension or audience and say OK. And then I'll want to find this data extension. So on the left, it will be under Salesforce data extensions. I'll make sure you're looking at all audience types if you're not seeing that. And then you should find the one you created. You can select it. It kind of highlights that row. And you can say OK with the blue button in the bottom right. This pop-up is where you'll go ahead and create this rule and define what content should be displayed. So what we're seeing on the left-hand side here is a reflection of the columns that we included in our data extension, where we can drag and drop them in here. So what I'll go ahead and do is say, our when our degree awarded year, let's drag it in there. And I will keep is equal to, but there are other some criteria in there that you can use. But when the degree awarded year is equal to 2015, I want the content to display to be my 2015 image. So you can be a bit more complicated if you have multiple criteria you're trying to use or it's not equal to, but our case is fulfilled right here. So I'll go ahead and say save. And 
This is also going to, at that point, allow me to add the next rule. So we've got our 2015 one done, but I had someone in 2004 in our list as well. So I want to create rule two, where degree awarded year is equal to 2004. And we should display the image for the class of 2004. Go ahead and save that. And I'll say done editing. And because this um, kind of image is kind of replacing this one, I am going to go ahead and delete it. But what I really want to show you is how this behaves within the preview and test and really allow you to be confident in how this renders for your different audiences. So I'm going to move to preview and test and keep this on the subscriber preview and attribute option. And from here, we can select this little folder and it's going to pull up all of our audiences. So again, we want to find the one that we're going to send to. And once clicked, you'll see your list and you can select one of the individuals on it and we'll say select. The one it's showing all the information that is in that data extension, but we can also see a real preview of because Jen has a degree awarded of 2004, that's the image she's seeing compared to. Um, if I hit next, we'll see my other subscriber being Melanie Jones, degree awarded year of 2015, and that is the image that they would see. Similarly to the use of dynamic content within an email, you can have dynamic subject lines and preheaders. To do so, when you click into the preheader or the subject line underneath, there's this lightning bolt. You can have a default preheader, but you could also add a rule similarly to before. Go through the same process of establishing which data extension you're going to use. So similar to earlier, let's say degree awarded year is 2004. I want a custom subject line that references that. I can go ahead and say save. And if you wish to add additional rules, you're welcome to, but be sure to hit save once you've added all your rules. And similarly, within preview and test, you would be able to see those customized either subject lines or preheaders. So it's 2015, no rule. I'm seeing the default graduation memories compared to Jen, who's seeing that custom preheader.